Shalom, before I get started, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Rekai Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders that I learned this truth from, the men in GMS, and the brethren with the like minded doctrine. It's the brother Bakala Wallam, here with another hopeful, edifying lesson to the elect body of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah. I got um, a lesson that I wanted to do through the Spirit. And I'm a, I'm a, the title of it is going to be um, The Devil Shall Cast Some of You Into Prison. Which this is a prophecy that's going to soon um, come to be, you know, during the um, persecution of the followers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. We're going to be looked at as terrorists, you know, or a threat to this new world order of Esau Eden. So we're going to be looked at as a threat. We're going to be falsely accused, brought up on false accusations, you know, just like they did the Messiah, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, the apostles and elders, I mean, so like the, the, the disciples, apostles and elders, <clears throat> and prophets of old, you know, they brought up false accusations and, um, and put and try to cast them into prison. You know, of course they did that to the Messiah. Oh, um, you know, Jeremiah. You no, know, the Apostle Paul and many others, right? So we know these things are gonna to happen to the followers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the scripture said um a servant is not above his master. You know, so also says um if they hated you, know that they hated me first. That was the Messiah, his words, right? But I also want to get this out of um, Romans 15 and 14. The book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 4. It says, For whatsoever thing, Salakia, for whatsoever things were written before time were written for our learning you know, which is the point for whatsoever was for whatsoever things were written before time was written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope so we learn from the the scriptures in title, all these scriptures was written before out um, before time. The whole Bible, Old um, Testament, Apocrypha, and the New Testament, right? So everything that's in the Holy Bible was written for our learning. So we know these things are going to happen because it's prophesied, which we're going to go to um, Revelation chapter 1, the uh, John, no, they call him John the Revelator. You know, the Apostle John, you know, he was cast into um, prison, right? On the island of Patmos. And we understand who cast him into prison. This is Revelation 1. We don't get that understanding, right? Because we're going to understand who is this devil that's, that's um, going to cast you into prison as John the Revelator, as they call him, right? The Apostle, the Apostle John. Who he's referring to, right? So this is um Revelation is one and nine. It says, I John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, was in the isle that is called Patmos. Why he was why 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 were he in there, right? It's gonna give you the answer for the word of the uh, for the word of Yahweh. And for the testimony of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. So he's cast into prison. But you know, we're going to find out what Patmos is. We already know, but I'm going to just bring it out for edification purposes. Patmos, you know, is a prison. So he was cast into prison for the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh basically preaching the word and the testimony of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. So that's why he was cast into prison. Which we gonna just get a little background on what is the Isle of Patmos. So I had this Google 
You know, so I, I, I just get Googled it. What was the Isle of Patmos? So the Patmos is the most sacred island in the Aegean, in the Aegean, recognized by Christians and king historians as a place where St. John wrote the book of Revelation. Patmos was designed as the Holy Island by the Greek Parliament in 1981 and has been an UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1999. So yeah, um, I'm gonna jump down here. It says, um, what was the Isle of Patmos used for, right? It said it was used as a place. <clears throat> it was used as a place of exile for convicts. Convicts. So it was a place of exile, right? This is this is how Apostle John came to Patmos, exiled by the Roman Emperor Titus Fl Fl Flavius Salakia Titus Flavius Domitian. Domitianus in 95 AC or BC, right? I mean, um, AD Salakia in 95 AC is or D, um, um, AD, right? In Patmos, Apostle John conveyed the inhabitants to Christianity and wrote the book of Revelations, the Apocalypse. So who cast um, John, the Apostle John, in the island of Patmos? The, imp the Roman Emperor Titus Flavius Dementian, or Dementian, um, what is his name? It's here. Um, it's like you. Yeah. Yeah, the mission. The emperor, the mission. Flavian, the mission, right? a Roman emperor. So, we got the background on that, right? That he was cast into prison. The apostle Paul was cast into prison by a Roman emperor, Flavian, the mission, right? For what? For the word of Yahweh, for preaching the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, basically. So that's why he was cast into prison. Cause basically it's like sedition, you know. He was he was preaching that another savior was gonna come, which is Yahweh Shai, and take over the um, kingdom. And, you know, and they looked at that as sedition or or him being a um you being against this Roman Empire, you know, you being against it. So that's why they cast the uh, Apostle Paul into prison for preaching his word, right? So the Apostle the um the Apostle John said what? The devil shall cast some of you into prison. So we understand that he was cast into prison by the Roman Emperor, right? So Revelation chapter two Verse Revelations two and ten it says what fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. You know, so that's the point, right? The devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So we understand what who is this devil. So we, we know that the, the Romans, the Roman emperor cast the apostle John into prison. Al of Patmos, right? So we just get to understanding what this word devil means, right? It says, uh, Go to this word devil, which is Diablos, right? 
Great word. Strong's G1228. Diabolos. Diabolos. So, says what? Prone to slander. Slanderous. Um, accuse, accusing falsely. So he's a false accuser, right? Um, uh, uh, a calumniator, calumniator, false accuser, slanderer. This metaphor applies to a man who, by opposing the cause of the Most High, may be said to act the part of the devil or to side with him. So it's a man, right? And who was that man that cast the apostle John into prison? What? The Roman emperor, the Roman empire itself, right? The Romans. So it's a man. So that's what, that's, that's who's the devil. It's a man, the same man that cast the apostle, or, or, you know, the same nation of men, Esau, Edom, which are the Romans. They cast um, the Apostle Paul, Salakia, the Apostle um, John in the prison, Patmos. So it says what applies to a man who opposing the cause, who, who by opposing the cause of the Most High may be said to act the part of the devil or to side with him. So that's who it is. So it's, a, it's a man, right? Also down here it says Strong's definition. It says um, traduce a traducer, especially Satan. So it's Satan. So what what this is compare? You know, H seven eight five four. So we gonna look up this um this um this this um what Satan means, right? Strong coordinates, right? So click here, right? Say. Strong's H seventy eight fifty four, Satan, Satan, Satan. So what it says, outline of biblical use, usage. It says adversary, one who would stand. So it's the adversary. It's the adversary, right? So it's an adversary, a man, as adversary is one that opposes by the, like what it says here. Going back to this definition applies to a man who oppose, who's opposing the cause of the Most High. You know, so you're an opponent. You was, you are, you are against the Most High. So that's what it is. So that's what it means. There, it's gonna be someone that oppose you. A man, so fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil, which is a man, the adversary, Satan, shall cast some of you into prison. A man that opposes the will of the Most High. So a man that opposes Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, the same one that cast John in the prison, which was um, the emperor. Um, Flavian the mission, a human being, a human, a man. So it's going to be a man this time. It's not going to be a, um, it's not going to be a, um, a, 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 a spiritual being, the spiritual demon, Satan, or the spiritual demon. That's the, the devil. It's not, it's not going to be him. It's going to be an actual man. And that man is Esau Edom, which um, we know that the Romans also persecuted and crucified the Messiah, right? You go back to Revelations um, 1. In verse 7, it says, Behold, it's talking about the Messiah, it says, um, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. 
even so, amen. So it says, and they which that also which pierced them, who pierced the Messiah, who crucified him, was the Romans. So the Romans are here again, that's reincarnation. You know, they are still on the earth, they are still here, and they are from the they are um from the house of Esau. You know, the Romans are the Edomites. So that's who the man he saw Edom is going to cast some of some of um, the men of the Lord into prison. And these prisons are um, the FEMA camps that they got, that they have guillotines and all manner of um, um, torture devices. And you can, um, and there's um, articles out there. Trump said if he get reelected, he's trying to bring back. Um, these um cap these um ways of capital punishment um firing squads hangings um um even guillotines which that's where that's where the scriptures talk about um some some of us will be beheaded for the um the testimony of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah the word and the testimony of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah so you know when they cast some of some of the men of the Lord in the prison, some will be hit, some will be beheaded, you know, by these guillotines. Like I said, if you look up, Trump said if he get back in the office, he's going to try to um, bring back these methods of um, capital punishment, which are firing squads, hangings, um, and the guillotine, which is that's being beheaded, you know. So it's all prophecy, man. You know, it's all written. In the, in the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah in the Bible. It's all according to scripture. You're know, getting back to the point. The devil, which is the man Esau Eden, the self proclaimed white man, will cast some of um, the men of the Lord into prison. And just to further um, confirm. To further confirm what, what I'm saying, I'm going to just type in some key words, cast into prison, right? The book of Jeremiah, you know, Jeremiah was cast into prison by who? Men, you know? They, then they took Jeremiah and cast him into the dungeon of uh, Malachiah, the son of Ham, Hama, Hamilik, Hamilik, that was in a court of the prison. So it was men. And I want to jump down to this one right here, Matthews 5 and 25, right? It says, agree with thine adversary quickly, right? While thou art in the way with him. Lest at any time the adversary, you know, that word adversary, deliver thee unto the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. So we're going to go to this verse, right? And look up this word adversary, right? So the adversary, agree with thy adversary quickly, quickly. Look up this word adversary, right? Strong's G476. Antidikas. Antidikas. It says a biblical um outline of biblical usage. It says opponent. See, that's the word opponent. An opponent, opponent in a suit of a law, in a suit of law. Verse B is which is what we want, right? An adversary, an enemy. Right, so it's an adversary, it's an enemy, an enemy of the Lord. Right, go down here the strong definition. You see, here it says, especially who Satan, who says, especially Satan as an arch enemy, an adversary. See, Satan as an arch enemy. So, you're an art, the arch enemy, right. So I have also I have um here pulled up the 
It says Arch Enemy right here. Arch right? Enemy. Arch Enemy. It says a person who is extremely hostile or opposed to someone or something. Right here it says the devil. <laughs> you know? They got the devil there, right? Arch enemy. The devil. This is an enemy. A man, right? Arch enemy. Or, uh, arch, what does an arch nemesis mean? A chief enemy. So it's an enemy. It's a chief enemy. It's a man. Right? So we understand adversary means enemy, means means Satan, means the devil. We just said the devil shall cast some of, some of you into prison. Right? So if you go, we understand that we have enemies, right? The children of Israel do have enemy and we have an arch enemy or arch nemesis right you go to the book of psalms the book of psalms chapter 83 and it tells you right jump to verse 2 it says for lo psalms 83 and verse 2 it says for lo thine enemies the devil, right? Your nemesis, um, your adversary, right? For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head, right? So who was that, right? Reading, continue on reading, right? They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Thy people is who? The Israelites, right? And consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may, may be no long may be no more in Salakia, that the name Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. And who is this? arch nemesis right the arch one the head right it says the tabernacle tabernacles of Edom so that's the arch that's our arch enemy our head enemy our top enemy are, are the Edomites which are the Romans so you understand you get it now you know the Edomites are the devils the enemies the adversary Satan the devil shall cast some of you to prison the Edomites are going to cast the men of the Lord in the prison, man. You know, with uh, Esau, Edom rules the world. The head elite, they make the decisions. They pass the decrees and laws that governs the whole world, man. So they're going to, you know, cast some of us into prison for what? The testimony of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah, this word, you know, the same thing as Apostle Apostle Paul, same thing. I'm going like, yeah, Apostle John. The Messiah, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, which people know as um, Jesus Christ, ignorantly called Jesus Christ, you know, the Apostle Paul and the rest and the disciples and the rest of the apostles, you know, it was all cast into prison. Jeremiah, the prophets of old, that was cast into prison for the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So they're going to do it to the men of the Lord today. You know, so we understand that this devil is the Edomites, you know, the enemies, the adversary, right? The enemy, the enemy make a tumult. So you get it? The devil, a person, a person who extremely hostile or opposed to someone or something, the devil, arch enemy arch nemesis chief enemy which, which it says there the tabernacles of Edom are the chief enemies of the Israelites that's why they number one they're the top ones 
So that's what it means there, you know, the adversary, right? Revelations um, 2. And 10 again, right? It says, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, right? Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. And that devil is who? The Romans, the Edomites, the ones that, the, the devil that cast the apostle Paul into the, the, the Isle of Patmos. It was men, human beings, the, the Romans, the Edomites, which are the Edomites, which are the so-called white man, you know, the self-proclaimed white man. They are um, the ones that's going to cast some of the men of the Lord into prison, which are these FEMA camps, you know, because what? The testimony of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, this word, you know, they're going to label us um, terrorists, you know, against um, enemies of the state, you know, chump up charges, you know, just like they did the Messiah, you know, false accusers. That's what it says, slanderer false accuser so they're going to do the same thing to the men of the Lord you know so uh, I just want to make this video that yeah the devil is a man playing that man is Esau Eden the self-proclaimed white man the Romans so I hope this video was edifying to the elect and I want to say call Halayim Layahol Ba'ashim Yawashah Ba'ashim Rakaqadash Shalom to the next time Yahweh Rathazah was means Lord willing. And why Abba Babal DTA soon.